<clears throat> okay, I think we'll get started. Uh, welcome everyone to the uh, Senate Friday webinar. Um, today is our presentation is on the Hyperion Planning Simplified Interface. Think of lot, I think a lot of planning users, uh, admins, FP&A folks should get value out of today's uh, webinar as we walk through that. There's been a lot of new things brought into the to the classic simplified interface, and our presenter Chuck Gusher today will will take us through that. I am Joe Mazurk of Finit, and as you know, we like to do a quick little intro to the company, so I'll get through that promptly. Uh, we have been around almost 15 years now. <coughs> Uh, we're kind of coming up on that milestone. Or that, that's a really nice thing to be hitting. And we're over 80 employees. Um, we have a, a big focus, as you know, we are laser focused on the Hyperion space, focusing an awful lot on planning in that space. Um, HFM, FDM, FDMEE, as well as Account Reconciliation Manager, and then the other ancillary tools that are out there that all make up that, uh, that whole EPM space for Oracle here. Um, we stay right on the cutting edge of these tools by having a very nice tight relationship with the Oracle development team as well as the product management team. So about the company, um, we are privately owned. Uh, we do not have any outside ownership interests. I think that's a pretty big uh, point of note there. We do not use subcontractors. Um, again, I think the idea behind all this is we have everybody has skin in the game here. Um, we don't have anybody kind of telling us what to do as a company that doesn't have uh, an active involvement. And we also don't have people who are consultants who are only here for a quick project and then gone. Uh, we have an extremely low turnover rate here. We're, we're really proud of that. Um, our other kind of uh, item that we'd like to hang our hats on here is nobody here is incented or bonused by the available hours or how much how, in, how much time we spend it. Um, everything is based on client satisfaction. So what that means is that we are very tightly aligned with our clients' requirements and what's important to them. And what that really helps us do is drive more and more successful and great uh, we kind of have a tagline here called unmatched experiences, and we like to think that all of our clients get an experience that they just haven't received from another vendor in this space. Uh, we're probably closer to 300 than we are to 250 clients, so uh, we're, we're narrowing the gap to get to 300. We have completed hundreds and hundreds of projects. Um, a ton of our clients come back to us um, for follow-up projects, uh, whether they be small projects or major global implementations or upgrades and what have you. So, and then real quick, um, some of our clients. Um, what I think a big takeaway from some looking at something like this is is number one, there's a lot of recognizable names there, but there's a lot of different verticals. So you'll see services company, energy companies, um, there's medical related companies, food companies, manufacturing companies. Um, we've worked with all different kinds of companies throughout throughout the history of the company. The other takeaway here is uh, there's a pretty big geographic diversity here. Um, we have clients up in the Northwest, the, uh, the Southeast, all the way up into New York and Connecticut, as well as uh, even into the Southwest. So we have a very nice footprint here as we've grown as a company. So uh, with that, I am going to bring everybody into the House of Usher. Chuck Usher is our <laughs> presenter. Today. Chuck's with our planning crew, and I'll let him take it from here. Chuck? All right. Thanks, Joe. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, this is Chuck, and I'm a lead consultant in Finit's planning S-based practice. I also do some FDME work. Um, I've been around the Oracle space, EPM space, for a lot, a lot of years now, and uh, I'm certified in 11.124 version of products. Uh, before all that, though, I uh, was in the trenches of FP&A for about a decade. Uh, ended up managing a group there, um, but I found I loved working with systems. And in the spare time, began a course of study where I ultimately ended up getting a, a master's degree in information systems. And that's the short version of how I ended up doing this kind of work. 
So uh, today we're going to talk about is the new Hyperion Planning Simplified Interface. First of all, what is it? And then followed by that, we're going to compare uh, the Simplified User Interface to Workspace. We're going to talk about on-premise versus PBCS, or it's planning, budgeting, cloud service. Most of you probably know that, but I uh, just want to be clear. Um, how it's used, the SUI, uh, that's the acronym for Simplified User Interface, often used. Uh, how it's used for tablet and mobile access, um, some customization options that weren't previously available at all, and some design considerations uh, for using those features that aren't in Workspace. Finally, after that, I'm going to have a short demo, uh, a tour and a demo, followed by some time for a Q&A. All right, simplified interface, what is it? Quite simply, uh, it is a rewritten user interface. So it was first released with version 11.1.2.3.5 and fully released uh, after that on 11.1.2.4. It's specifically made to be tablet friend friendly um, and it looks like a smartphone interface on the iPhone or the iPad. It's got a completely different look and feel from Workspace because of that and most new features are only going to be available in the simplified user interface. In particular, um, one of the things that makes the interface more like a smartphone is uh, some new features of cl called clusters and cards for grouping functions, which I'll be going over. But uh, a real big benefit of this is that uh, it does perform better. Uh, so Oracle development definitely put more client-side scripting in the background of the SUI so the server doesn't have to work as hard and they, they literally have said that it can handle 33% more of the workload. So here's a view of the interface and to go there's a separate URL which uh, we'll be demoing. Um, the normal URL is workspace in the path and the URL with Hyperion planning mentioned in the path now takes you here instead of that there's an old classic view which used to take you directly to the planning app instead of workspace. Mm -hmm.